In addition to looking at the packaging, what the consumer can do is also look at the inlet of the shower head because that gives some indication of how far the manufacturer tried to go to regulate the flow rate of the shower head. Some shower heads only have a washer that is used to seal the shower head to the fitting. This provides no flow regulation of the shower head at all and that can quite easily cause a unnecessary high flow rate. Then there are some shower heads that you can look at that you will find a type of a mesh on the inside normally incorporated together with the ceiling washer. So the purpose of this mesh is to prevent dirt from going through the plumbing line and into the shower head. This also does not provide any regulation of the flow rates. You then get shower heads where you see a, a much more intricate component. So components like this will typically have a combination of hard parts as well as more pliable softer parts, sometimes o-rings, sometimes discs. When you see a component like this, you know that the manufacturer went to great lengths to control and to regulate the flow rate through the shower head. And that normally means that the rest of the shower head is also designed to give a much better shower experience for the end user. A shower head with such a regulator also gives a much more even control of the flow rate, which means whether the tap is, is small or larger open, there's a, a, a much more gradual control. And it also allows for an easier control of the temperatures, much more stable control of the, of the water temperature through the shower head. I'm often asked, what is the best way to save energy? What is the best way to save water? And the simple answer to that is use less. Use just enough to fulfill the task that you need to fulfill.